So the ancient secrets of manifestation, they're allowed to be revealed right now. Yes, they're coming out everywhere. You pick up a book anywhere and it will <laughs> talk about manifestation, intention. You have the power to, to change your world. And uh, the ancient texts, I think one of the greatest writings that came out of the Dead Sea Scrolls was the Isaiah text that said that we have a power that lives within us to change our world, to heal our bodies, and that is the power of feeling. The power of feeling, yes. So we have to be very careful to watch our feelings, yes, and to train. I mean, I know you teach a class on how to manifest, which is something that we all really are interested in, how to manifest. And you say there are eight steps to it. Could you tell us about that? Well, there are eight steps, which are pretty ancient, universal, ancient secret steps to <laughs> manifestation. Uh, you have the intention, the certainty that you uh, need to um, uh, what you want to bring forward in the world, the intention of that. Then you have the imagination, the picturing power of your mind to actually see it. Actually, your intention and imagination have to be one energetic circuit. Uh, this isn't uh, in all the books. This is the knowledge that I was shown, yes. how the right brain holds the imagination, the left brain, the intention, and the circuitry has to be connected. Without any interference. Without any interference. And the matrix is the in interference yes. pattern that breaks the circuitry between intention and imagination. So like if I want to go to Hawaii, my right brain, like you use this example, will say, I want to go to Hawaii. That's the right brain. Creative, right? Yes. And then the left brain will say, let's go you say. Yes. And then the matrix will come in and say, but what about your bank account? <laughs> it could be empty, you know, have you looked at that? <laughs> right. Which immediately breaks the circuitry. Oh, and those are the belief systems of the matrix. They're handed down through your uh, lineage and they are encoded in your genes. Once you energetically remove yes. the programs of scarcity, there's nothing left to break the circuitry and your imagination and intention become one. Which is what we are meant to do. We're absolutely meant to do that. And also to be very detailed in what we want to do. That's one of the stages too, right? Well, what, a step of manifestation is to uh, be certain to what you want and then the detail what you want. You can't just say, uh, I want a house in the Bahamas. <laughs> uh, that's a good idea, but if you don't direct the energy, detail means direct the energy. Say, I'd like a house on the Bahamas, uh, on the beach, uh, fully paid for <laughs> with a transportation to get to the house. You need to add a little detail so the energy knows. Energy needs to be directed. It's just a force field that is waiting for our direction. Wow. So we're also going to show the audience how to um, access the abundance gene once it's turned on. So we're going to roll tape again. Now that your gene is activated and your abundance fully restated, you'll want to know how to access the full potential of this gene. In order to access the powers of manifestation and creation that live within this gene, you must remove the limiting beliefs and memories of scarcity that still lie within its field. Memories that have been learned in this life, as well as memories of scarcity that have been handed down through your genetic lineage. It is through the removal of these limiting belief patterns that you may have full access to abundance. The old memories create a destructive energy interference pattern within yourselves. It will be necessary for you to remove them once the memories and beliefs of scarcity that created the energy interference pattern in your genetic code are removed, you'll have full access to this gene. You're now entering into the joy of abundance. This resonator holds the vibration of magic, the four-leaf clover, and good fortune. It resonates with the feeling of childlike surprise and wonder, taking you back into the realm of play, discovery, and expansion. It is this energy that attracts abundance. It sparks the power of imagination and creation that is needed for your abundance. Once your heart opens to the joy of this energy, you reconnect to the enchanted world of prosperity. You're now going to ground the Golden Age energy into the world that you live in now. Feel this energy as it starts to surround your body. Feel the energy move into a beautiful cocoon of energy around your body, enveloping you in a web of comfort. Feel this energy as it starts to ground itself into this dimension. 
Feel your physical body and energy bodies as they align to the energies of Earth. Feel this energy being pulled through you and anchoring itself deep into Earth. Imagine there's a beautiful star beneath your feet that's pulling the energy through you and anchoring the energy deep into Earth. Feel the grounding energy ground itself deep into this Earth. Feel the energy grounding deeper and deeper until you feel a heaviness in your feet. Once you feel this heaviness, you're fully activated and grounded. Thanks for this gift of love. It is done, it is done, it is done. 24, 36, 36 and 4. Il a mi iti asimati siatia. Il a mosh inatimia. Ola mo ila. Margaret, can you tell me about that music? It's just, it just puts me in a most divinely peaceful state. <laughs> well, the music's from the angelic realm. Rita, the artist, at the same time she sees the energy, she hears the sounds. Mm -hmm. She's been a sound healer from birth. In fact, she works at Stanford <coughs> University and sings in the children's ward. And when oh. she sings those sounds, children get well. So we've combined sound, numbers, words, colors, imagery, so the entire body is activated at one time in all the energy fields. And what you say at the end of that tape? It's That's called the light language. It's the language we all used to speak. It's a pure language of love. There's no duality in the language, no right or wrong. And because it's so filled with love, it just heals. Because I start to feel that in my heart. That's where you feel it. That's yes. where it lives. It lives Can in you your talk sacred about the heart. sacred heart? Could you tell us about the sacred heart? The sacred heart is a space within the heart, within a space, within a space, <laughs> where it, the smallest of all particles live, with, which is the purest vibration of love. And once you vibrate from your sacred heart, you can heal or change anything because love is the force uh, that changes things to the light. And that's where we're moving, is into the light. Wonderful. I am so happy that you are out in the world, Margaret. I know you have a book. Can you tell us about your book and what oh, you're yes, doing now? Oh, yes. Quite exciting. wrote a book <laughs> called the, the DNA of Healing, uh, Resetting Your Genetic Code for Wellness and Abundance. And Hamptons Roads has bought the book. And oh, they're fantastic. Congratulations. Publishing it and Much deserved. It'll be out this <laughs> spring. So uh, it'll just be a delight. It'll go into how our DNA um, contains the memories of our ancestors and how <clears throat> those emotions affect us. But what they loved the most about the book was that I put a full healing process in there so you can find your own genetic story, your own story of this life and remove it so yes. you can heal yourself with the book. So uh, Yes, they, you they also have that. a way to get to the story. You also teach a workbook on how to get to the story. Yes, right in the book. So that's Wonderful. what uh, they liked the best. It was not only informational, it was transformational. And the whole team at Hampton Roads tried it out and had such shifts for themselves. They decided that it was just going to be a great thing for them to market and put out into the world. And you're also doing the enchantment gene. Could you tell us about oh, that? Oh, yes. That's the latest activation that we're uh, moving into next. This is the abundance gene activation. But it's now time to also so to reinstate our enchantment gene. And our enchantment gene, of course, is the wonder, the magic, and miracles that we see in ourselves and each other. And it's actually the blending of the male and the female energy. Uh, the female energy is the creation. And we cannot have enchantment until we reconnect with the female energy of enchantment. I'm so glad you mentioned the female, because I just know so many women, uh, you know, in their lineage, they're holding so much pain and so many horror stories. And I'm glad that you're going to help heal that more. It's just because the, the uh, masculine energy has overpowered the feminine. It's not that one's right or one's wrong. They need to be a union, yes. a blending, so that we can move into equal energy. We can move into empowerment of each other and we can create a sanctuary, a safe place to be ourselves and a safe place to resolve the conflict. And that's what the enchantment gene does. And I'm just, it'll be uh, ready to view very shortly here. Oh, and, wonderful. Uh, and I'm so excited to bring I'm it forward. I'm so glad, Margaret. I'm so honored to have you here and to be a part of your work and to be able to present it. And um, I wish you great success. And I hope everyone gets a chance to really experience this Abundance Gene, the full, full DVD. It's just spectacular. I'm Audrey Hope. This is Real Women. This show is dedicated to creating positive female role models in our world and life-altering perspectives. Thank you so much for joining us.